Hey guys, what's up? We're on our way to Buffalo, New York. We're going to Whole Foods. Uh, we have about a three hour drive in front of us and we're gonna pick up some things and just check out how uh, Whole Foods is doing in the, this crisis. So um, we'll be there shortly. For you guys, it'll be like this. At Whole Foods in Buffalo, New York, I'm with uh, Big Josh and we're gonna go in and see how it looks in light of everything that's going on. I know the sun is making my face look really red in this camera, but we're gonna go in there and see how it looks in there. I'm thinking that it's not gonna be as empty because they've had a, a few days to replenish and everything. People are still coming out, but uh, there's not as many people here. So let's go in and see what they have. The produce is all looking really good though. Really well stocked. All the produce that you guys need. Everything here is pretty well stocked. Except for the toilet paper. They got the bananas. The bulk has really uh, been hit hard. Most of the bulk is gone or very low. All of these are out. Oh, none of these bins are full. And there's only a few of them that are full up here. But they definitely have like wheat bran, bulgur wheat, cornmeal, black eyed peas. So they do have a bunch of stuff if you guys are looking for that. And they did have a quite a few shelves that were completely empty, but not anywhere near as it was a few days ago. Here is the refrigerated section. It's got a, a little vegan sticker there for all the vegan milks and creamers. As you can see, there is still a lot there, but it's, uh, it's pretty empty in the middle and uh, they're limited the quantity each person can get but uh, if you go there you will find vegan milk so that's a good thing over here they have the just egg it looks like it's fully stocked it's only 4.99 too which is a lot cheaper than it was before these are the things that would uh, boost your immune system but they're all they're all still here everything else is gone oh they have like the just mayo like that now that's new this is, these are the best and nobody's touched them. You, you gotta you gotta try those. I know you, that'll be it. If, if you wanna try some tofu yes. that you might like, that would be it. Out of every tofu, that would be the one. Besides the one I make. Oh, and they got the benevolent bacon up there. The tofu, the miyokos, all your heart. Oh, so I think these are vegan too. Are they? Meat free. And everything here is gone except for a couple of these. Yeah, soy Yep. Vegan. Oh, 100% vegan right there. Yeah. And they also have it in the burger form. I mean, some of the stuff is gone, but it's it's pretty well stocked here, actually. Frozen veggies here. Pretty well stocked. And on the other side too, pretty pretty well stocked. We're past just an engine two stuff over here. No evil food. Habanero. Huh? Super good. Oh, this is their three six five version of the plant based burgers. So I was really surprised with the fact that like there are just a ton of vegan options here. And I, first time here. Yeah, and I'm not saying anything because I love Wegmans, but Wegmans, you need to step up because <laughs> there's a lot more here than there is at Wegmans. I, I, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, we have some uh, nice fruits here. Blueberries, berries. Uh, it is very sparse, but hey, there's still stuff here and that's what matters. Let's see, vegan ice creams. We have... This one, the Emi, that's a local Rochester ice cream over here. They got a bunch of different ones. And of course we got the Nada Moo, the Oli, you're so delicious. Kado, Ben and Jerry's, there's only two left. People love that. Some more of these cool house. Ice cream sandwiches. Totally have a bunch of vegan ice cream. This is it right here, the Sweeter's Pizza. I wish I had my coupon here. Here, I'll put it in the thing. We got tofu and pizza. It won't fit. It won't. There we go. <laughs> well, that's my favorite one. They have vegan stuff here. They used to, sometimes they have vegan donuts too. At least with the one in uh, Albany. Everything's like closed down for good reason. 
Oh, there it is, the bread that we got the other night. The, yeah, the Dave's yeah, Killer Bread. Oh, and the they little, like the mini. Sliders. Yeah, sliders. This is but this is not beef. Usually, there's like no bread in it. Most of this other bread is all gone here, but of course, it's yeah. also at Whole Foods. We got Dave's. We do have a few other ones too, but most all the other bread is gone. Now, I haven't been able to find any regular all-purpose flour at other stores, but as you see, they have it, and they did have a few of those in there. Um, they just seem to really be well stocked compared to the other stores, and maybe it's just because we're a weekend now, but. Here's some uh, where the toilet paper was. You can see there's still, can't find that anywhere. And the engine to Rip Esselstyn, Rip's Big Bowl. And then we have the uh, the Justins, different things. And uh, these must be the new chocolate crispy peanut butter with quinoa. Like water is gone over here. And this was nicely just cleaned down, sprayed and cleaned. So we're all good there. There's two overpriced items. They were out of a few things. They were pretty sparse on a few things, but nowhere as near as some of the other places that I've been. I know this has been a few days in uh, from everything that's going on with this social distancing and the pandemic crises, but their produce was, was totally stocked. They were, they were out of a lot of the bulk. They did have flour. Some people picked over certain things and left the vegan things, which it's been a pattern in other places that I've been to. But all in all, I think that they were uh, they were pretty well stocked here. Uh, they didn't have toilet paper. I haven't seen that anywhere yet, but I think we're gonna start to see more and more stores that have more in stock as uh, time goes on. They're gonna have time to, to catch up with that while people are staying in and, and not going shopping anymore. Uh, I did see quite a few people in here today that were wearing masks and uh, protective gear. So, um, yeah, we grabbed a couple things and uh, I hope you guys like the video. Give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe so you don't miss my updates on what's going on during this time. And uh, stay safe, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys in the next video.